Now that we have talked about the hue lighting system, now we're going to talk uh, on how to make uh, our lights to work by themselves. Uh, when we are not using our Amazon Echo, uh, we might want to have our lights working on their own. Um, I can, uh, after time, you get creative and you start just uh, thinking of different uh, ideas of uh, how you want your your lights to interact all throughout the day. And for that, uh, we're going to go and uh, take a quick look on how to create alarms um, and timers. Mostly alarms, the ones I used are alarms, um, but uh, uh, timers are also available. So you go here, let's go to our main app, and then it will go to uh, the main um, screen. Uh, something important that we need to do is uh, we need to create uh, uh, scenes so that uh, later on we can uh, tell our alarm uh, which scene we want to turn on and a at a specific time so for that we just have to create um, press the plus button here and uh, it will ask you what do you want to use as a reference for your uh, new scene if you want to use a photo of your own or a light recipe we're going to say photo and here um, it, it, it asks you, it allows you to choose from uh, your Philips library or your phone camera roll if you have a picture where you want um, a specific color uh, to use in your, in your scene. In this case we're going to use the Philips uh, library pictures and uh, we're going to use this uh, kind of uh, rainbow uh, color. Uh, so then you just type uh, press on top of the uh, screen uh, use and then uh, it will ask you what lights you want to use I'm gonna say that I want the kitchen the kitchen too kitchen counter living room and kitchen sink so I want those lights to use so now we slide um, all the way to the bottom so the lights we chose now they're gonna appear in uh, all through uh, the screen so you just have to uh, bring it on to whatever color you want that light to change when you press that scene so I want all my lights to turn into a kind of greenish uh, tone so I'm gonna group them like this. So now that you can, um, now that you have uh, your uh, lights set up to which color you want to turn when you uh, um, uh, press that scene, you hit save, and then um, it will ask you to enter a name uh, for your scene. So for this, we're gonna call it test scene. Okay, so now we have it. So now we have um, we have created our test scene, which is uh, right here on the top uh, right corner, and it has integrated to uh, the rest of my uh, uh, scenes that I already had created. So uh, now that we have our scene created, we are ready to go and uh, create an alarm. So we go on the top left corner to our main menu and here you see the different options that you have and we're gonna select alarms and timers here I already as you can see have a lot of uh, different alarms that I like having uh, for the sake of this um, uh, exercise we're gonna create a new one uh, you hit the plus button on the top right corner and then it asks you what you want an alarm or a timer um, I don't use timers uh, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead with an alarm and here you set uh, the time when uh, you want this alarm to happen uh, which is basically when your scene is gonna be activating so I'm gonna say I want it at uh, 6 o'clock um, quarter past 6 uh, here you can select what you want it to do if you want to uh, turn on the scene or turn lights off right now we want to turn a scene on and then uh, here you select the scene that you want 
here we're gonna select the one that I just created test scene here you can select how you want the lights to turn on if you want to turn them on instantly or you want to turn them on um, gradually like in the morning I like to have the feeling that uh, the Sun is coming up so that uh, when I wake up I don't have this sudden light in my face but it's a smooth transition from off to on so here I normally go with uh, how many minutes you want uh, this transition to happen normally I choose 15 minutes that gives me a little bit more of time to sleep so you choose a transition of 15 minutes um, and then uh, you just click back so now you have uh, what time you want it, what did you want to do, scene on you choose your scene, um, we chose to fade in 15 minutes we, on the repeat, how often do we want this to happen I want this to happen the whole week, well no, I'm lying uh, only Monday through Friday on my work days, because on the weekends I sleep in so um, now you select um, how uh, the frequency of your alarm to uh, to happen and uh, if you select here uh, the option of random um, like it says uh, it will start your alarm uh, somewhere between zero and half an hour um, from the time you specify so uh, yeah that's a nice feature you want to have if you want to uh, uh, set up the, your lights so that um, people don't know if you are at home or not that it randomizes the time that uh, your lights come on but for this uh, matter we're not gonna um, do that so the only step that is missing is to name our uh, uh, our alarm which uh, we will name morning um, wake up and then uh, now you hit save and now you have your alarm so every uh, day from Monday to Friday at uh, 6 o'clock um, quarter past 6 your um, lights are gonna start turning on uh, smoothly from uh, in a period of 15 minutes and uh, you'll have a nice light in the end um, uh, to wake up to now um, I have set different alarms um, afterwards like for example I have my um, uh, alarm uh, to wake me up at quarter past six and I have already set off so that um, uh, I know at eight o'clock in the morning it's already light so um, yeah, I just take off to work and I don't uh, care about the lights I know that eight o'clock here I select lights off and you select uh, which light you want to turn off so here I just selected all the lights that I have in my house so I know that at 8 o'clock in the morning all the lights will go off I chose to fade one minute it's a nice effect to see how the lights are fading out uh, and they don't go uh, right away and these I want to do every day in the week so that I know that at 8 o'clock in the morning all my lights will be off by the time the sun is up and um, uh, I'm not wasting any um, energy so I have that and uh, like this you can set up different kinds um, I have uh, my bathroom turning uh, also more or less at sunset you have to guess um, the time more or less uh, as uh, time goes by through the year which is your uh, sunset and your sunrise and you have to change the time manually so that's um, what I did at the beginning um, now I don't I will show another way to how to make an alarm to uh, uh, work on its own with uh, um, the sunset and the sunrise I'm gonna show now the way we can uh, add alarms uh, based on events like sunset and um, uh, sunrise this app here called Stringify um, that's the one I use uh, this one is a similar app as um, if uh, if then this if this then that then um, the way it works you have things and you have your flows and um, things here you go and um, you set up here all your different devices that you have um, and that you want to uh, use as a trigger so uh, you have to enter your credentials for your Hue uh, light system for your website your, uh, y uh, all your devices are populated on this list and then uh, also if you have an Amazon Echo uh, you can enable it here too 
and uh, later on you can use these as triggers and actions and um, now that we have uh, all our things uh, listed here um, we're going to go and uh, create a flow uh, that's how they call uh, the little routine so that uh, you can do something based on um, a, a trigger that you choose so um, now that we have this we go back to the main menu and then we go to flows and then here in flows we're gonna create a new flow and now that we have all our things set up we uh, click on add and uh, we're gonna select um, what we want to do so uh, I'm gonna select right now date and time because I want uh, to uh, turn on my lights um, on sunset and then you have to choose which lights you want to um, to use so I'm gonna select the ones in my living room and kitchen so uh, you select all your um, light bulbs that you want um, I'm gonna that that will do so then you go and click add so then you're brought here to this little white canvas where you can um, uh, do uh, your little connect uh, the dots kind of uh, thing uh, so you build your flow so you just drag your element to a little uh, piece of the canvas it comes in there so now uh, you drag all your lights into into the canvas as well uh, you can choose um, different uh, circles it's not a specific kind of order it's just how tidy you want it uh, to look we're gonna uh, resize it so that uh, we can see it all completely okay so now you have all the elements that you have you have your time which is going to be your trigger we want this to uh, um, if you see here it they, it has little cogwheels which means that they need to be set up they will, it will not work just like this so you just need to go and here and um, you select uh, your trigger uh, we want to do sunset so uh, starting from where today so uh, repeat every day and and repeat we don't want this to um, end so we keep uh, we want to keep going it asks you for your time zone so uh, you leave it uh, if it's not the place where you are you change it otherwise then uh, you just save now it's configured and now um, you uh, select your lights you have uh, you have your actions now and you can select here what do you want turn turn a light or set the brightness or turn it to a specific color so I'm gonna say turn to a color and um, we're gonna say uh, I want a kind of orange color to turn on and the, with 100 percent of intensity you save it and now it is configured so you have to do that for um, all of them okay so now we have all set up on uh, our trigger and how we want um, them to uh, react so uh, now we know that at sunset it will turn our lights into an orangey kind of color so now we just need to link all our um, trigger with our actions so the way you do that is you drag with your finger from the corner of uh, the date and time circle into your first light bulb so you do it like this so you see now it appears a linkage so now there is a relationship between your date and time and that uh, light bulb you do that for the rest of them you link them all there you go now uh, you uh, drag it from the link to the top one and to the from the link to the bottom one so now there you go now everything is linked everything is ready now when you go uh, when sunset happens it will make your lights change to the orange color that we have set up already so all you need to know to do now is to name your flow we are gonna uh, name it sunset and then um, you click done and then to make it uh, work you just um, hit enable flow and your flow is enabled and now uh, you can you're all set uh, your lights at sunset will turn to orange you close it and um, now your uh, flow is uh, here uh, uh, ready for sunset that was the app stringify